Hello guys, another video from my car as every Saturday about web development career in general and not that much about Laravel. And let's talk about so-called full-stack developers. Everyone wants to be a full-stack, every company wants to hire full-stack and what does it actually mean and in real-life scenarios, what is full-stack? This week I've made some research how much different frameworks are popular on Upwork and Indeed, so two popular job resources one is for freelancers other one is for jobs and the results kind of surprised me how popular is the react for example of course there are reasons for that because react is used for multiple backends also there's react native for mobiles and stuff like that but generally i felt like i was in kind of a bubble with laravel and vue.js and Vue.js is not the most popular framework if you count Angular and React. And Laravel may be the most popular framework if you compare with Symfony with amount of the jobs. But it's not the most popular framework if you compare that to front-end. So I kind of raised a question to myself and I want to open the discussion. And there is no right or wrong question. So this video is not that much of advice but raising the questions for discussion. For example, my story. I was a back-ender for like... 15 years or something and then at some point I felt that the web changed and I need to do some front-end at least some front-end at that point Vue.js came into the scene with Laravel which was kind of a good pair of tools and it was kind of easy to start with Vue.js so I did exactly that then some new tools appeared and I wanted to use Livewire which I did and now I've made a few big projects with Livewire then with Vue.js came Inertia and basically almost every year something new comes up which kind of forces you to be a full stack developer. It's not that much about full stack actually, it's more about mastering multiple technologies or at least be familiar with them to be able to choose which technology is more convenient for which types of projects. And probably the most important benefit of that is that it broadens your surface of possibilities to get various jobs and projects or be useful at your company for more projects and become like more valuable developer. But that's around one ecosystem of Laravel and tools around that. But what about React? It's not that popular with Laravel, for example, and it doesn't have that many tutorials or courses around that. And by the way, I'll try to fix that later in 2022. But generally, should Laravel developer jump to React because it's more popular? And this is a philosophical question. Should you become like totally full stack, multi full stack to be able to get jobs with both React or Vue.js? And for example, on the back end, in addition to Laravel, you could learn, for example, Ruby or Python. And even if you don't have the direct projects with them, maybe for some cases, for example, for our quick admin panel, for some things, we do need Python on the back end. And my colleague David is taking care of that. So it's really beneficial to kind of be a Laravel developer, but no enough python like there's a saying no enough to be dangerous and then it broadens your surface of what jobs you can get what projects you can get and stuff like that so that's one approach to learn as many tools as possible around your area of course doing the research what is actually needed so don't learn like COBOL or pascal or any like ancient languages or maybe do if you know the exact job that you would apply for but generally just learn a lot and then see what opportunities are around you but this is only one approach another approach is to get deeper specializing in whatever tool you use like laravel or for example other stuff for me it worked really well so i kind of guessed at the time what to take on i learned laravel and stick with that for what like seven years or something so i'm laravel daily as a brand now it's not like povilus daily or php daily or net daily it's specifically laravel and it works for me really well i still love laravel enjoy that and will keep working with that so I consider myself like a professional and specialized person specifically in Laravel and that what gave me the benefits of the career opportunities so that's another approach go deeper in what you already have and maybe learn a thing or two like inertia or live wire as kind of extra tools in your toolkit and there's no right or wrong again so whenever I get asked should I learn this or that is react better than Vue.js? is laravel better than node and stuff like that there is no right answer to be able to answer that probably you need to make research in your area whether you're looking for a job in your local like country or city 
or you're going for freelance work, then you need to make a research on Upwork. So look at the jobs, look at the offers, what is in demand, what is your current skill set, and try to find the match and try to find your own path that you think you're betting, it's always a bet, that you think will get you job opportunities in the future. And speaking about the future, there's short-term future and long-term future. For example, you may invest more time in learning, for example, React, which is more popular. It may be more complex, but it may be more beneficial in the future. Or, for example, you may go for AI and machine learning, which is like mathematical and very complex. But in the long run, it may totally pay off with bigger salaries. So the choice is yours. It's very individual. It's very personal. So instead of asking someone what you need to learn, what language or what framework, just search the market. Search the jobs, the opportunities. Talk to potential employers, maybe, or people on Twitter who are hiring and make your own decision for your personal case. So that's all I wanted to tell you is kind of like raising the discussion without proper advice or one way. But I hope it helps you to raise the questions for yourself. And if you want to discuss something around that topic, shoot in the comments below. That's it for now and see you guys in other videos.